I think the NGOs have made a very good proposal already for the Rio Plus 20 document to transform industrial agriculture by 2030 to sustainable with phasing out synthetic inputs and so forth. So I think this is a recommendation from 1,400 CSOs and this can be pushed. The organic movement should team up with other movements. And I think this is crucial at this point of history. Get together, uh, get organized and, and show uh, strength and force at this moment. The most important thing the organic movement can do to strengthen the Rio Plus 20 outcome is to show that for everything that's being addressed at Rio Plus 20, always addressed in Rio, organic agriculture is the solution. It's a solution to biodiversity loss. It's a solution to climate instability. It's a solution to the water crisis and the ocean crisis. It's the solution to poverty. It's the solution to livelihood destruction. It's a multiple solution to multiple crises. What I see is, is agriculture and not just any type of agriculture. Sustainable agriculture has to be the number one topic in Rio because there won't be any sustainable development of any sorts unless we sort out our future. And the future starts with good food, food which is produced saving the planet and not destroying it. My top priority for Rio Plus 20 is to have the movement's voice very, very strong, to have the few governments that are right-thinking be able to articulate their priorities, like Bolivia or Bhutan, tiny countries with a big vision. I think it's extremely important that we form coalitions uh, to address hunger. IFAM, Avalon, other organizations like BioVision, the ELIA network should come together, bring a clear joint message for real sustainable food and agriculture to Rio and for 10 years afterwards based on healthy ecosystems. It's an opportunity to be teaming up with other partners on common agenda and putting our meager resources together so we can move and transform agriculture and see what type of services we can give to smallholder farmers. If we manage to get a strong support for organic and eco-agriculture, then I think IFWAM has to make sure that this message is brought not only to government and try to influence policies, but also that people on the ground will start to change their practices, which means a lot of education, information, because to do sustainable agriculture, to do organic uh, agricultural agriculture, will, will demand a lot of, of knowledge to be spread around. Well, with all these members, it would be good that each individual institution create more awareness with their respective governments. I think the awareness is still very, very low. There is a misunderstanding of what organics is. Many people think it's about certification, high prices that the poor cannot afford, and this is a big mistake. I think a big awareness of each of us with their respective constituencies, their respective countries, governments, has to be done. We have to bring organic agriculture on, onto a much higher level, a larger scale, where we carefully document the impacts, uh, the good ones, uh, the bad ones, and uh, only then we would have, I think, the ammunition to change policy, to, to change people's opinion around. Involve as many people as possible because you really need all this capacity uh, that is around, that is at the moment operating a little bit on their own. We have to bring them together to implement these larger projects. And only then I think you make an impact also with the policy makers. Become a critical mass where we can make more change in the world more quickly. No matter what serious problem of our times you look at, organic agriculture is going to be the answer and its relevance will grow even after Rio.